Yo, what's good? Top of the morning. My, my, uh, I got two reels on YouTube reels. One got 2.5k views. The other got 1.3k views, which is like super fire for me because the rest of my reels only got like 50 views or less. Um, so I, like I, I'm doing B-roll content more, which is doing super well on YouTube and TikTok. Not as well on Insta though. That's fine. I'm super hyped about that today. Going to the gym, going to record two modules, two mindset modules for this community that I'm creating um, with my, with this fitness, with my fitness creator. But I need, I need homie to like f fucking hold up his end of the bargain because he hasn't recorded a single module for this community. So we're, we're planning on launching on Christmas. And I need him, I need him to put in the work so we can do that. So I'm going to check in with him later today and see how he's doing with that. I don't want to like stress him out and like rush him. But I think I need to apply a little bit of pressure, a little bit of urgency just to like, you know, get him, get him going here, get him cooking up. Yeah, about to go hit a push day. One of my friends, I, I might hang out with him. He's back in town from from uh he actually goes to a boarding school he's in high school still and he just got back from that so we might we might link up and <clears throat> posting content's been a very interesting thing like it it's it's shining a light on all the real homies and all the fake homies because like my my friends or like some of my acquaintances I wouldn't quite call them friends from high school are like are pushing me away giving me hate like like oh or not even hate but just like small little comments like oh what are you doing I don't see the vision that's so weird your little series is so funny things like that and it's mostly behind my back and my real homies are telling me and then and then all my real homies are like are asking me to hang out more like they see me expressing myself more and and they fuck with that and they're they're like yo been too long let's catch a lift stuff like that so oh shit i just saw a peregrine falcon that was actually sick what the hell um yeah about to go to the gym fucking acne is ass right now bro look at this i like I don't know what to tell you. Like I'm, e I'm eating very clean. I'm taking my acne meds, but I think my skin will clear up in a few months. All right, peace out. What's up, everybody? It's actually pretty warm out, and it's sunny. Another beautiful day. Today, the topic of the day is authenticity. That's what I'm gonna talk about is authenticity. It's a pretty awesome word, pretty awesome word. And I recommend that you lead your life with authenticity, okay? So, here are my thoughts on that. <clears throat> and again, these are my thoughts. You live your life how you want to. This is how I'm gonna choose to live my life and how I think a lot of people don't live their lives. And if they did, they might feel more internally happy about themselves and lead a more profound life where they're actually taking action upon what they want and not what they're told they should want. So I think there's this, this fraudulent pandemic going around or epidemic of like, I don't know if this is a word, but inauthenticity. And I think, I think a lot of people are fucking robots, bro. I think there are a lot of, a lot of robot zombies on the streets strolling around and I think 
I think there are a lot of reasons for that. I think there are a lot of reasons. Um, but big one is definitely fear of judgment. Fear of judgment is a major, major issue. Because even, like everyone judges, everyone judges. Even if it there's no ill intent, people still say shit and make comments about other people. I'm guilty of doing that too. I'll make an observation about someone and I'll tell that to their face. And then they, they take that observation and then apply it to themselves and it does like it they don't feel the best about it like oh shit there's a cop bro i gotta put my camera down <laughs> Fuck. that's really funny i forgot that it's illegal to to uh drive with my phone who the hell is ashley's iphone ashley's iphone's trying to connect to my car right now oh shit this cop pulled a truck over like a semi truck Um, anyways, yeah, so a lot of people fear judgment and, and a lot of people judge other people, even if there's no ill intent or they'll just make a comment and then that'll hurt, that'll hurt another person's feelings or they'll get self-conscious of that. Like when they're little kids, little kids in kindergarten, one kid's like, oh, you've got a big nose. And then the other kid's like, oh, you have big ears. And for them, they're just making comments. Like, there's no negative thing about that. They're just like, oh, this dude has a fucking huge nose. And the other kid's like, damn, this kid has big ass elephant ears. And then there's ne no negative connotation around that. They're just like, oh, I've got a big nose. And the other kid's like, oh, I got big ears. And then they go home. They go home after kindergarten. They're like, mommy, mommy, Johnny, little Johnny said that I have a big nose. And then the mom's like, Oh my God, Johnny did not say that. Oh, honey, you don't have a big nose. And and then the mom turns it into this whole traumatic thing. And then little Johnny's like, oh no. Like, I guess that's a bad thing that I have a big nose. And then little Johnny is traumatized and little Johnny is insecure about his big nose. Now he looks in the mirror, he's like, oh fuck, I have a big nose. And then what's, what was once this average, normal conversation of two kids making observations about each other has now turned it into this traumatic experience and created an insecurity that could pe potentially be lifelong. Like, I know my mom was just telling me about this. She is like, to this day, insecure about having a big nose because someone in her kindergarten said she had a big nose when she was a kid. Um, so, so I, I think this is, this is like a two person thing. Like one, stop judging people. Stop like putting, putting negative judgment on people. I think observations are fine. I think observations are fine. So one, stop putting negative judgments on people. And two, uh, yeah, and like don't tell them what they should or should not do. Because is is your own life. No one has the right to tell you what you should or should not do. Okay? And the second is if someone is giving you negative judgment or if someone is telling you what you should or should not do, 99% of the time that person telling you that thing does not see the world from your perspective and does not have your best intention in mind. They're thinking, they're either projecting their own insecurity or their own thoughts upon you or or whatever. Like, oh, this car's a fucking dickhead, bro. <laughs> oh my God, these these drivers are crazy. All right, this is b beside the point, but do you ever notice how like the older a driver gets, the longer since they they got their license, so the worse the worse they are at driving. 
Like 17 year olds are way better at driving than like middle-aged people, in my opinion. They're probably just more reckless, like I was. <clears throat> but yeah, I just got, just got to the gym. Lesson of the day, be authentic to yourself. Say what's on your mind. Actually, honestly, that wasn't even authenticity. I, that was just like judgment. But I guess they go hand in hand. Like if someone gives you judgment, I'm gonna set you down. If someone gives you judgment, don't change yourself based on their judgment, okay? Don't change yourself based on other people's judgment because that's just them projecting themselves upon you. And it's like, you don't want to be the type of person to change your behavior to fit others' idea of you because of their judgment upon you, do you? Do you want to be that type of person? I know I don't. I certainly don't. I want to live life by my own terms and I want to accomplish things that I'm proud of, not things that will make other people proud or things that make me happy, not things that will make other people happy. And in doing so, like no matter what you do, you're going to upset some people. And if you're constantly spreading yourself thin to make everyone happy, then you like you minimize the amount of happiness you can provide for other people. I've been there before where I try to make everyone happy and then I end up just making either making everyone upset or just like just like spreading myself too thin and then just like losing my energy and losing my life force like it, it just gets exhausting. So be your authentic self and find the people who fuck with you when you're authentic. Find those people and you'll you'll develop stronger, better friendships with those people. And you'll you'll feel better about yourself. <clears throat> Maybe you'll take I, I heard Chris Williamson say this. It's like if you're your authentic self, you take criticism more. Like the criticism's more painful. Cause if you're being someone who you aren't and you're like kind of spreading yourself to match different people you always kind of dot you're like one degree to the right of their criticism but if you're your authentic self you actually feel that criticism more but then you also feel the compliments more you also feel the compliments more so love yourself be who you are and don't take shit from nobody unless you look up to them and their their feedback is valid because i think i think it's important to be open-minded and listen to everyone but i think a lot of people either a don't have your best intention in mind or b aren't the people to be giving you the advice or the the feedback because they don't they don't have anything that you that is desirable. Like most of the people giving me shit about posting content are people who like are not people whose lives I'd want to have. And like that's fine. Like they probably wouldn't want to have my life either. <clears throat> but then the people who I look up to who are like bigger content creators and like six figure agency owners, those people see me posting content and they're like, damn bro, like keep it up. That's sick. Keep doing it. So yeah, I'm going to go hit a push day, but um, be authentic. I just realized I left my AirPods at home. I'm actually so pissed. Fuck. Yo, tapping in, taking notes, eating my beef and eggs, berries, apple. And I've been thinking more. I'm going to launch with my creator. I'm 100% launching with him. And we're going to see how things go. But there's a high likelihood I'm going to scale to like 10K per month, 15K per month or something like that. And then dip. Like once I have the social proof, once I build up my following and it's easier for me to get another creator, I'm probably going to do that. Because Carl is awesome. He's awesome. He's super chill, super energetic, super fun super like our energies match well he's um he's humble he's wholesome he's down to earth he wants to help people but he's not doing any work 
he's not doing any work and he has a lot of false beliefs about himself and I don't see things going very far with him but I mean time will tell time will tell I'm gonna keep encouraging him I'm gonna keep trying to get things going with this community but really this business model being a growth operator is crazy like you really need to dial in your your people skills and you're gonna get better at those but I am yeah I'm in a, a sticky situation let's just say that I would drop him and go back to outreach but I hate outreach like I already did market research I already made a fire VSO like he literally just needs to make content for the community and drive traffic. Um, and the other thing is like, he's not doing much work and he's not getting like very much engagement for his content at all, really. That's other issue. So like once we do launch, I don't even know if we'll like be able to get very many people in the community. So yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's tough, but time will tell i'm just gonna i'm gonna be patient i'm gonna keep doing everything in my power to improve every day mentally physically spiritually improve and be on the constant pursuit of knowledge and betterment and yeah 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 i mean i didn't expect it to be easy so yeah peace I'm so dead right now, bro. Someone was calling me, someone was calling me a scammer. Like on, on my, my short form, I'm not even selling anything. I'm just saying like, here's my day in the life. Peep these godsies. I, I'm just like, yo, here's my day in the life. And then I'm providing free value. Like here's how you, here's how you close a, a creator and launch an info community. And I'm not selling anything. And then this dude's like, oh, he's a scammer. He's a scammer. It's just so funny. Like, like it, it's just unavoidable. <laughs> it's unavoidable. Now imagine like, imagine what the huge, huge creators with like millions of followers. Imagine how many people call them scammers. Like the people who are actually selling stuff. Like it's, everyone just has false beliefs and and it's like, even Iman Godzi, in my opinion, his course, his agency course sucks, but anyone can find value out of it and anyone can succeed with it. Like, I don't consider scamming, like, I only think scamming is if you, someone like tricks you into giving you their money and then you don't get anything in return. That's what I consider scamming. It's like, give me your money and then you run. That's what I think scamming is because it's like you're the one who made the decision to drop your money on on whatever it is. So like, like maybe it's not as good as you thought it was going to be, but you're you're still not getting scammed. You're just taking a risk and then either the risk pays off or the risk doesn't pay off because there there's risk in any purchase. So or you're an intelligent investor and you invest in a course that has a guarantee or whatever, it doesn't have to be a course, but you invest in something that has a guarantee. So there's risk reversal. So yeah, my two cents. I'm about to munch some dinner and then, oh look, you can see my recording. I'm about to munch some dinner and then watch some stuff and then create modules. And then I should be done with modules tonight. I just need my creator to, to work on his. But in the meantime, I'm just going to do some outreach to other creators because, like, I got nothing better to do. I'll, maybe I'll read a little more, but, like, that's it. Um, just building my building my patience, figuring out what to do in the meantime. But, yeah, I'm going to go chef up. Yo, chefing up. Or already chefed up my dinner, two chicken breast avocado. Big ass juicy pear. Taking notes right now. I might actually hop on a call with some other boys that are operating. Yeah. Bro, peep this shit. Funneling. I got the fast food cheat sheet. And then I'm funneling 
everyone from the community into his um to use my creator's codes for supplements and equipment and like Gymshark stuff and then we got all the best pod podcasts in here got the best books and then also some good videos shit is so so fire i'm hi- i'm like so excited to launch this community um and then i also let me go to canva I also just whipped up two banger modules. So I got the dopamine detox. Look at this shit. Why your brain's fucked and how to unfuck your brain. Talk about dopamine and then boom, this is what everyone's putting in their brain. Social media, porn, junk food, video games, TV, drugs and alcohol. And then like what you used to be, you little caveman. And then yeah, I mean, I go further into that super fire. And then habits and environment. Um, so yeah, like how habits work. This clip from the office. And then 1% better every day versus 1% worse every day. And building habits, environment. Yeah. It's so fun. That's like one thing that high school actually helped me with was cooking up these modules. But yeah, gonna go for a walk and then read and then meditate. And then I'm gonna call it a day. And Carl says he's cooking up modules right now. Hopefully he is. And he says he's on track to launch in four days. So should be fire, should be fire. But I mean, yeah, I just need to record those two modules and then like all my work, like then I'm just fully waiting on Carl. And I mean, I guess I can make some more mindset modules just for fun, but I'm also going to start reaching out to other creators, someone in this community who actually is so funny. He, he made six figures managing only fans, girls, and he he's done a bunch of shit in entrepreneurship. He's like 20, 20 and about to turn 21. And he's he's done a lot of like random endeavors. But he gave me some really good outreach sauce. So I think I should be able to close like a higher, like a better creator soon. But yeah, I don't, I'll, I'll see. Uh, like, I'm still on the fence if I'm going to drop Carl or not. I, I don't think I'm going to drop him, to be honest. But I might, like, match his level of effort. Like, if he's if he's not putting a ton of effort in, then I'll just, like, match that level of effort. And then have another creator who is, like, more dedicated that I can put more into. So, yeah. Gonna, gonna do some more stuff and then hit the hay and see you guys tomorrow. Peace.